M0FXB in, in the garden. So we've uh, set up the 705 with the AT Pro 2 tuner. And we've had a, a new uh, an antenna delivered today, which is, you know, for the car really, but I've decided to set it up and it's a, a 40 meter whip antenna. So it's up here. Not, a, you know, not sure how clear you can see that, but uh, it's only 20 pound. I got it from uh, Moonraker UK. And so we've uh, strapped it to this pole. I'll give you a, a view from a distance. And there you go. Little setup here. I've got an extension lead out here so I could, uh, for now, just power the tuner on the radio. But norm you know, normally I'll charge up a, an old um, alarm battery and then I won't need all these extension leads because it just adds to RF, doesn't it? So, <clears throat> try and keep the camera still while we do this. We've got some glare here. So I'll try and angle it so we don't get any glare. Let's turn this down. Um, we, we have managed to get it to tune. Uh, at the moment, we're, we've got the DC power supply, so we do have the 10 watts, but we're up to... We're on 4 watts at the moment, so let's just tune it again. There's no one on this band, so let's just select RTTY and we'll give it a quick tune. See that? That's one to one. Now, I've only tuned it a couple of times, so it's not in the memory yet. It's a 40 meter antenna, but we will sort of have a look around and see what else it receives. So back to LSB. Let's turn it up and have a, let's put the uh, noise limiter on, function. Take away that, that noise. I've got the preamp to two, I'll just put it to one for now. So we've got a French station there. Try and get an angle where you don't get much glare. So yeah, we're also running the um, the <clears throat> the carry cage made by K7 AIR and with my call sign on it. So let's have a little tune. Yeah, not great. Um, it was a bit better earlier. We've, we've got it earthed. We've got my earthing pole here. And we've got it earthed to the tuner. It should do the trick, really. Um, there is someone there, it's just weak. Have a little tune round. I wonder if any of that interference is um, my power supply. Let's unplug it. Um, well, we saw a big drop there, didn't we? So it's a switch mode power supply. So just for receive purposes, let's have a look.
It looks like the tuner does keep its um, its tuning position, even when there's no power going to the tuner. Pretty handy. Let's go back to those stations. So yeah, that made quite a lot of difference turning that power supply off, didn't it? So not too much joy. Let's try it on 80 just for listen mode. Let's just out of interest, let's plug in the power yeah, supply and see what happens. I'm on the Sun SDR 2 Pro, the Russian SDR. You see that? So that power supply is no good. Uh, but I do run with an next third layer to use because uh, I'm, I'm running with a doublet. I've got three in the open ribbon here. I'm not you're using 450. So I'm using 300 straight back to the tuner. The uh, tuner's got a balanced output on the back. It's an MSJ one. It's the uh, full legal limit one in the state. Uh, one and a half kilowatt job, you know. It's quite big. In fact, the tuner is bigger than the linear for me. But the linear is a lot heavier. So we've got some nice stations coming in. But yeah, but this linear of what? Uh, Five years, not six years this year. It's been absolutely perfect, seamless, no problems at all with it. Four outputs on the back, two inputs, uh, memories, it memorizes all the settings, you know. So it couldn't be simpler. Running on half power, it will. But, well, that, uh, that's interesting. I run on half, maximum of 600. It's actually it's tuning. Uh, so there you go. But uh, you're a good signal anyway. Uh, it's not. One, two, three, four. Maybe they uh, maybe they sent me the 80 meter one. <laughs> Not that I'll be getting in it, but uh, you know, I'll just use it to tell me what the weather's like. <laughs> so it's been uh, about minus one, I think. And uh, called again tomorrow morning, I believe, as well. M0. So we've got this usual walk. So, did, uh, so it's, it's still tuning on 80 meters. Um, it could be that the my tuner is remembering it from you know when it was powered m0 fxb qrp Right, let's have a quick tune elsewhere and then we might go back and try and have a contact. I'm actually quite pleased with that because you know, I am really a, a mainly a receiver so this is good. QRP M0 FXB. Right. We're going to try and get in here. Uh, just, just an interesting experiment. Uh, QRP M0FXB. 
Not much of a gap there. <laughs> QRP. 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 Oh, there you go. Quite a fine money, actually, stretched out. Um, yeah, well, you know, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun making it. You know, as long as, uh, you know, I've got a great gear for you. Right, should we just see what it sounds like on 20 metres? Yeah, so we're not getting nothing there. And of course, if we uh, even try and transmit, it's going to be way off the scale. Yeah, as, as expected. Yeah, so back to 80. I, I swear they've sent me the 80 one. Should we just give a call out? Well, we've got a good, good SWR, so... Yeah, SWR's good. Let's get the power up to the full... F it's only going to be five because there's no power. There's no external power. I need to dig out a car battery, don't I? CQ, CQ, CQ on 80 metres. CQ, CQ, QRP. Calling for a contact on 80 metres. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Calling CQ on 80 metres. CQ, CQ, CQ. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Calling on 80 metres for a contact and standing by. Mike Zero Foxtrot X-Ray Bravo calling CQ, CQ, CQ on 80 metres. Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo calling CQ on 80 metres. CQ, CQ, Mike Zero Foxtrot X-Ray Bravo and standing by for a contact. Well, I think we'll try our luck, but you never know. So... QRP. QRP. QRP, QRP. Everyone likes the 7300. Okay, well, I think that's enough for now. So, we've learnt that the uh, both my power supplies that I've got out here are rubbish. And that the, uh, the whip... QRP, QRP. QRP, QRP. <laughs> no chance. So, uh, anyway, it's fine. So, just one last look. Out here, and then we've got the, the whips up there. Um, and... Um, yeah, just a bit of fun out in the garden and the lesson learned is use a battery. Don't mess around with the power supplies. Cheers, 73M0FXB clear.